Hello beautiful Leo friends, welcome to my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. I'm so happy to have all the Leos up in the house with me. Um, yeah, we are going to do your March monthly tarot readings. As always here on YouTube, what I am spinning out for you are general readings. That means not everything I say will resonate with all the Leos out there. Um, ultimately, it is up to you guys to come into this reading with an open heart and an open mind. I ask that you only take away the messages that resonate with you, that motivate you, inspire you, confirm something you needed to hear, or illuminate you to some new idea or possibility. Um, yeah, I come at this with love, so I'm hoping that that's what you are receiving back from this. Um, I, I always ask, like, uh, like, share, subscribe wherever you can. That helps me. That helps this channel a whole lot. Gain momentum, gain traction. It's slowly growing, surely, uh, or what is the expression? Slowly but surely, it is growing. Um, and yeah, thanks to you. Leos has, have been a huge supporter. So yeah, huge shout out to the Leos, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Everything else about this video is going to be in the description box below. That will include the decks I'm using here today as well as my social media channels. Um, check those out if you are interested. Um, I'm also the intuitiveteacup.com. Oh my goodness, your cards are spilling everywhere. All right, that's a sign we're gonna hop in real soon. I gotta do a couple more shuffles. Um, yeah, check out my website, check out my social media. If not, happy to have you on YouTube. What do Leos need to know? Happy Pisces season. We are in that nice, cool, watery energy, which can sometimes be tr tricky for you guys being a, a fire sign. So hope this video finds you well. Last deck, Leo, important messages for March. For my Leo squad out there, important messages for March. All right, we are good to go. All right, bottom of your deck, you got some interesting, uh, interesting energy going on. You have the Emperor, which is a card of Aries. It can also talk about your career, also sometimes the card of fatherhood. Um, we are headed into Aries season soon, so that may be a timestamp, um, especially if you are juggling multiple people, Leo. Um, there's one that maybe broke your heart and then there's the one that got away and you still think about them. So like in between the emperor, you kind of have like, you know, sometimes what we call the juggler and on either side of it, you have tricky energy. So if there's three people involved here, yeah, I think you're, you're potentially an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It doesn't have to be. They may have gone off to pursue something else outside of the relationship. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, but for a lot of you, it probably is. Um, and then there's the person who caused you heartbreak or vice versa. You may have broken their heart and been, and kind of gave them a lot of, um, unsettled thoughts about how this, I don't know how this relationship potentially ended. Um, it could definitely be with, uh, an Aries. Yeah. You have two cards indicating on this side. It, it potentially had to do with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could also be someone you worked with, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, in between that energy, you're, you're kind of an eight of swords here. So that's tricky. That's sort of being in like the mental prison, um, being a prisoner of your own thoughts. Um, yeah, just, just kind of feeling stuck in general. So let's see what your tarot reading says and see if we can, we can help you set yourself free. That's what's coming up next. You have the fool energy and some justice. So a leveling out, a balancing of the scales, but also like as the juggler, it's like a balancing out of the two. If you're trying to make a choice or trying to just sort of, um, Release these thoughts or these, these people potentially once and for all. I do think you get there. There is harmony and peace and balance restored, particularly if you're dealing with a Libra. I think you're going to get some sort of outcome that is desirable. But there's also more outcomes or more avenues, more opportunities that are actually trying to present to you, like a universe is trying to like gift them into your life. But you may be so mentally preoccupied with, I do want to say people, that yeah, your, your judgment may be a little bit clouded. If you are applying to jobs and, and putting out your resume or looking for new avenues of income specifically, I do think that will come in. Uh, like income will be good, but yeah, there's, there's some decision making that comes in. It's sort of like what you the chariot. So a card of cancer, a victory of, of what cup you want to go to, what, what avenue or what road or what opportunity is going to provide you with the most emotional abundance, emotional fulfillment. It could also be money flow too in cups. So I mean, looking up ahead, if you're, you know, in metaphor, jumping on your chariot to go after the next thing, you have a lot of things coming in. It's just sort of the deciding factor of which ones do I actually want versus which ones am I still holding on to out of, uh, out of like boredom or out of complacency, out of, um, familiarity, right? Um, sometimes this is a card that keeps us stuck simply because 
it talks about our fears, things we're not confident about, and so we keep ourselves stuck rather than, you know, going outside the comfort zone. I think a lot of my Leos are being forced outside the comfort zone, particularly if it does involve going after a new job or money or additional income. There's a lot of it around you or coming into you, but it does sort of make some sort of, or I'm sorry, it takes some sort of executive decision to go after it, to set yourself free from this this prison potentially, and, and yeah, make some make some movement towards the right direction. Particularly in Pisces season with this Cancer card coming up, it's that watery energy. It's sort of like the, the, the metaphor of like, just keep swimming. It's, it's right up ahead. Some of you, yeah, you'll be signing a, a contract potentially with an Aquarius. And again, it would have to do with money flow. So let's see where your energy is at. <clears throat> All right, so love seeing your card coming up. Strength. The Angel of Strength. I love it. <clears throat> Then you have the six of cups, the six of coins. All right, so sixes are good. I like that. And then you have the sun. Leo, look at you. Strong in your energy, strong in your power. So even if you are going through sort of a, a difficult time or feeling like you're juggling multiple responsibilities, jobs, people, rest assured, like, you, you guys are going to crush it this month. You guys are going to kill it in March. You, you have your energy coming up very strong. You may be asking for a helping hand from someone from your past. It could very much be a family member as well, particularly regarding your finances. You may be asking for some sort of loan or some sort of um, assistance with money, even if it's just guidance. Uh, you could be seeing a financial, uh, a financial advisor or counselor, however you want to say it. Um, and it could also be to invest in something regarding children. I don't know why playground is coming up. Uh, it, it, but it doesn't have to be that. Something involving the school system or a playground or it could be tuition for your kids to go to a specific school. Or I mean, you, Leo, you may be going back to school. I feel like I get this message a lot for Leos who are um, potentially teachers or working with children. Um, but you do have the card of reciprocity coming up and the Six of Cups, meaning sometimes this is like the soulmate card. But here it's, it's an equal give and take between you guys. And it's like, if you lend me a helping hand, I'm going to do the same for you. So... This could mean that there's a beautiful friendship in your life, that there, there is a beautiful back and forth of like, I got you, I got you. Like it's, 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 it's locked. <laughs> I, yeah, it's, it's a relationship that is very beautiful and the, the uh, reciprocation back and forth is effortless. It's easy. If that's not your story, it does seem to be uh, that that is what you're looking for, particularly in a romantic relationship. So some of you may have your eyes on another Leo. Um, that again, that, that seems like the, the relationship will be more just. It will be more balanced. So yeah, for those looking for love and wanting to say goodbye to like the liar, cheater, thieves of the world and also the ones who maybe, I have to admit, Leo, on the other side of this, I think there's one person you wanted and they took off and then there's another one that I think you actually probably broke up with and, and you know, I hate to say it, but you kind of broke their heart a little bit. You're not wrong in cutting it off with somebody that you didn't have those feelings for, but ultimately, yeah, it, it seems like at least on their, on their end, there is still a little bit of emotional damage done there. What I, I get from this, though, is that there's going to be reciprocity in feelings as well. So what you feel for them, they will feel back for you. It won't be this, this mix, mi I'm sorry, <clears throat> mixed up feelings of they love you, but you only kind of like them. It's, Again, the scales of justice come in, if, if that makes sense. There's a nice equal balance. It could also be with a Libra as well. Or again, another Leo. <clears throat> yeah, this person may help you out of sort of a tricky situation, especially financially. It could even, this could even indicate if, you know, purely away from romance, somebody stepping in to help you with childcare, you may have to hire a babysitter or... Yes, yeah, someone comes in and, and starts doing a few favors for you. And if you are paying for it, it it's not breaking the bank. They're doing it within your budget, if that makes sense. Yeah, because you have your eyes set on something in the future. You're starting to um, uh, save your pennies for a rainy day. <clears throat> some of you are saving up for some sort of vacation or expensive home or like a big ticket item. And so, yeah, I think a lot of you are, are trying to be very um, mindful of your budget uh, during Pisces season um, it, through, throughout the month of March, uh, even into Aries season. All right, so let's check out the, uh, the challenger focus. All right, you got the soulmate card, the three of cups, the knight of swords, and the ace of peppermills. All right, so, so yeah, this is actually very straightforward to me. 
The challenger focus is understanding who your soulmate really is, who your network of support is, because I, I am getting something about you're going to ask maybe a few people for favors and only some of them are going to make the return on that, if that makes sense. Whether that's pay it forward or, or help you out or or just flat out decline your request or not show up, right, when you really need them. I, I don't know if it's specifically all financial, but it just seems like during, during the month of March, you guys are reaching out to your network of people for help. Financial help, emotional help, whatever that the case may be. It seems like you do have a tribe of people that really care, but it doesn't feel romantic. I think a lot of you are looking for a partner uh, romantic, you know, that you could potentially live with or move in with that, that really has got your back. Um, you may have be having a, a troubled or rocky relationship with a Virgo or a Gemini. <clears throat> you have this person you may have cut off. If they're not an Aries, it could also be a Gemini. It feels like some damage has been done with that and it's very strained. For my Leos, whatever gender you're seeking romantic partnership with, it does actually seem that within your network of friends, there is a, a romantic person who finds you very attractive, who is sort of... Um, uh, in awe of your beauty when you're around them, they get sort of shy or giggly or, or even flirtatious. <clears throat> let's, let's clarify that. Um, and so if you're looking for um, same-sex partnership, absolutely, this is probably someone you see all the time. If it's the opposite gender that you're, you're searching to pair up with romantically, it might be a friend of a friend, if that makes sense. <clears throat> but yeah, they, they find you really hot and sexy and attractive. <laughs> But they may also know about a difficult relationship you had, again, with a Gemini or a Virgo or whoever it was that I think you broke up with them and they broke your heart, or I'm sorry, you potentially broke their heart. Sometimes the roles get reversed here, but you have both. You have a person who walked away from you and then you have a person you walked away from. This feels like a, a brand new energy, to be very clear. Um, this person who's, I, I do kind of want to say crushing on you, Leo, they know that you've had to make some difficult decisions in, in cutting people from your life. This could even have to do with cutting off your children who are financially like reliant on you, but almost to the point of, of abusing that. Uh, do you understand what I mean? They're, they're, you're overextending yourself to, to like provide for your children when like they're full grown adults. It's that type of energy. Like they're, they're kind of bleeding you dry. They're sucking you dry. Could also have to do with an ex if it's alimony, if it's whatever. So, yeah, I, I think in, in Pisces season or, again, in the month of, month of March, you are in some ways sort of closing yourself off to, to your, um, at least to certain people in your life because, yeah, there's no return on it, even whether it's financial or emotional or just being there for you. You're starting to really question who's in it for the long haul and who is just like a, uh, like, uh, how do I want to phrase it? A temporary, a temporary person in your life. So this person may actually be fearful that you're weeding them out. And it's, it's kind of a weird, misconstrued thing going on in their head because they actually, they're viewing you as a little bit cold or distant, but I don't think they understand that your cold or distance has nothing to do with them. It has to do with, again, ejecting or rejecting the people in their life who, you know, w when they asked for help and support, they were turned down. So you, Leo, are just kind of like, ugh. You may be wondering who to trust. And it's not so much that people are trying to, I don't say that out of, uh, you know, instilling fear in you. You know, generally speaking, trusting your intuition, you will know who to trust. But you may be giving off cold vibes. And so this new person trying to come in, that's coming up as your challenge or focus is make sure you're being open and kind to the right people because you don't want to miss out on like the soulmate, right? You never really will miss out on it, right? What's meant to be will be. But, you know, keep your eyes open because there is someone interested trying to come in. And it might be a Gemini or a Virgo, or that may have had to do with a relationship that ended and severed. All right, tell me about this Ace of Peppermills. <clears throat> you could get some sort of random act of kindness from a complete stranger, like on the street, or, yeah, there, there's some sort of unusual circumstance where someone, uh, you know, loans you the cash at the grocery store because you left your wallet in the car. It, it, there's something like that. Yeah, I mean, your person that's interested in you is, I am thinking it's brand new. If you're representing the, the fire element in this, it could be an earth sign trying to come in. And again, extend, extend some sort of token or offer or blessing your way. Their energy is really nice. And again, they're probably already in your circle of friends, even if that's like the extended network. You know, your best friends, 
cousin's friend, something, you know, something like that. Um, very interesting. All right. So let's see. So, I mean, that's your challenger focus, not terribly challenging. It's, I think you're, you're doing a little bit of, um, you're, you're weeding things out. You're, you know, going through your metaphoric, like, closet of people and deciding, you know, I can get rid of this one. I'm going to keep this one. This, like, this one's on probation. I'll see where it goes. There's definitely a lot of, like, assessment of the people around you, for sure. Um, and, yeah, ultimately, with Knight of Swords, don't be afraid to cut who you need to. But also, don't say or do things in the heat of the moment. Make sure you are thinking with, with clarity and logic as as you proceed forward, right? Again, a lot of emotions, a lot of hearts are on the line here, so proceed with caution, especially if you are sort of, sort of leaving a door open for, uh, you know, potential reconciliation or a reunion with someone you're interested in. That can sometimes be this. Um, yeah, just be, be very clear and careful with your words, particularly in Pisces season. Everyone is feeling just a tad bit more emotional. So yeah, be, be kind, be sensitive wherever you can. What is the help available to you? Yeah, these options are good. It, it's no need to be scared or fearful or overwhelmed. A lot of this does represent career opportunities or money or, or even just using like a craft or a skill that you already have to get you a little bit farther ahead in whatever you're doing. You have beautiful options awaiting you. Again, it's just sort of deciding, okay, I'm going after it. It's, it's almost like acknowledging it will be a victory before you even start it. It gets you in the right headspace to go after and do it. So you're not in this indecision land of do I or don't I? Should I go after it or should I essentially stay in the comfort zone? Both these cards, you're, you're pushing out of the comfort zone, right? For better or worse. The death card. Yeah, okay, so yeah, like uh, bringing the sword down on people that are no longer serving you, drawing a line in the stand, being um, very firm in your convictions, being very... Um, being very to the point, but again, logical in, in, in the decisions you're making, it's making a decision and sticking to it. There, there's no sense of like wavering, wavering thoughts or wavering emotions or wavering questions with this. It's like the line has been drawn in the sand. Um, it's, it's very like it's set in stone. That's how I would say it. When you decide to leave someone behind or something behind, stick to it. It, it will... It will serve you well to only be looking ahead. Again, this indecision of the past or the future, I'm not really certain. Focus on the future, even if you haven't figured out all the details yet. Emotionally, as you, it's almost like cross that bridge as you come to it. If you have a lot of things coming in, a lot of things going on, one at a time, but there, there's no need to question if, I'm something about there's no need to question going back to the past. You've made the decision to keep going forward, so do just that. That will lead you to victory. Yeah, these blessings trying to come into you, they're not all going to happen overnight. If it's money, it's not all going to pop, pop overnight. There will be a little bit of waiting, but with the Three of Wands, it does involve action forward, knowing that in good time, like um, it will sort of trickle in when it is supposed to. Um, some of you are interested in a Scorpio, and that Scorpio has eyes for you. Uh, they are interested in you as well. A Scorpio may be the one asking you for money or asking you for favors. So that could potentially be that best friend where I said it's very reciprocated. It's very reciprocal. There's a nice, they're like the yin to your yang. That doesn't have to be romantic either. But for some of you, a Scorpio is going to play some sort of role in your life regarding money or, or just being like a solid support system for you. You also have the queen of oysters, which is um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And then the fool, yeah, there's some sort of, um, some of money or just even like a decision is finally made, particularly if you have to do with like divorce or marriage or a contract of some kind. There's some sort of executive decision made that offers you a sense of freedom, of relief. It takes the worry and the weight off your shoulders. It may involve your mother or a parent as well. And it's because you have the determination, the endurance to power through, to stick it out. Again, to not look back, to not go back to the past just because it was easier, because that was the comfort zone. You do have that temptation coming in. It's saying don't. You don't need to go back to the comfort zone once you set off down this new journey. Again, you don't need to know all the details. You don't have to have it all figured out yet, but, but have faith that things are going to change and come in for you when they are supposed to. Keep transitioning uh, out of the old cycle and into the new. Complete the cycle so that you can welcome in all these new blessings that are trying to come into you. Also be open-minded. That's going to be important for some of you. Some of you are trying to get involved in some sort of bath or 
beauty products or uh, I heard Bath and Body Works. Uh, yeah, something about like cosmetics or um, like beauty products or even things you use in the shower or the bathtub or this and that. Um, I just heard vibrators. I don't know, whatever it is, you guys are launching some sort of product or flushing out the details of the potential business or like entrepreneur type energy is sort of how I would describe it. You have an idea for a product and I think you're wanting to launch it. But again, it is going to take a leap of faith. A lot of you are designing like the logos or the visual strategy, the marketing, the flyers, the, the website. Uh, avenues of creativity, that's going to be very helpful to you, especially in Pisces season. You are very um, receptive to getting important downloads from the universe, including like, I, I heard creative encouragement. So yeah, make sure you're spending time like in meditation or keeping a dream journal because you may have some sort of insightful creative idea that helps you on whatever this project is that you're doing. Or even regard, it's like some sort of important download regarding who you can cut off money-wise or where you should invest your finances. Yeah, that, that, that might come to you in some sort of dream. Very unusual message there. Something regarding flowers. Is it a floral scent? Candles, soap, something like that. It's very... Uh, I don't want to make it a gender thing, but it does seem a little bit more like feminine type products, if that makes sense to anyone out there. Why is the Queen of Oysters here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles showing up? Your mother might be a Capricorn. Your mother might help you with your business or give you some sort of financial guidance. Yeah, uh, especially if it is your mother, but it's also someone looking out for your mental health. They're going to... They're going to help you take breaks or relieve you of stress when you really need to unplug and just kind of like recenter yourself, refocus yourself. It could even be your yoga teacher or like your, your trainer at the gym. They're going to be a very helpful ally or advocate that is, they're rooting for you, they're cheering you on, but they're also making sure that you take care of yourself. Um, yeah, because you have your eyes on the prize, Leo. You have your eyes on many different things and they are all in alignment with your dreams with your wishes um you know your long-term fairy tale ending but it's almost like you're in some capacity you're putting the cart before the horse so this person is going to remind you to just like chill like one step as i was saying don't get overwhelmed don't bog yourself down by burning the candle at both ends by trying to hang out with eight different friends in one weekend or go on eight different job interviews you know take it a cup at a time intuitively you'll know the ones that you can kind of release and, and, and set free um, but yeah, it, it's almost like you have so much coming in, you need to allocate your time and your energy wisely so you don't burn yourself out. One more card. Why is the fool showing up here? Some of you should just hang out with your pet more because it makes you very happy. Your dog, your cat, your fish, your bird, whatever it is. Going out in nature, uh, nature photography, especially uh, animal like, in uh, sorry, animals in nature and their natural habitat and climate. Some of you are very interested in drawing them or uh, photographing them or painting them. Something about animals out in the wilderness. And maybe that's just, you know, encouraging you to go out and take a nature walk or if whatever kind of chills you out, whatever kind of gets you to that Zen meditation type state. <clears throat> Yeah, it's funny. Something about this is saying lower your expectations originally. Don't shoot for the sun and the moon and the stars all within the month of March. Again, slowly, piece by piece, it's going to trickle in. But yeah, don't paint yourself in an awkward corner by, again, not allocating your time and your energy in the right manner. There is something, yeah, just one step at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself or, or I think you're going to regret it. It's not that you're going to miss your opportunities or miss your blessings, but it, it's like time management. You can't possibly do eight things at once, so try and do one, maybe two. The juggler is coming up because some of you are incredibly ambitious, which is a noble thing, but again, something about lower your expectation. Don't agree to take on four different projects when you can only hold two in your hand. Do, do you understand the, the, the message there? Yeah, something involving a Scorpio or potentially a Capricorn is important in that. They, you could ask them for help, potentially, if you have a friend or a parent or whoever. A Scorpio or a Capricorn is going to be helpful to you. They're going to help you reach a very tight deadline that you're worried you're not going to make. You will, but again, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to reach out to your network of people. You know, I'm slammed. Could you pick up the kid tonight? Something like that. 
What is the final advice or guidance for Leo? The lovers. G card of Gemini. I love it. The Ace of Pentacles. All right. So it could be a Gemini that is offering you this help, financial help or wanting to nurture a new seed with you. If you're on the dating scene and looking for the soulmate, yeah, may maybe invest your time with a Gemini. But also, as we were saying before, though, making executive decisions, drawing a line in the stand and yeah, like unfaltering or unwavering dedications or dedication to the task at hand while keeping your health and your mental sanity in check, too. Right. Um, yeah, this, this can be a card of just making choices, making decisions. If you don't make a decision, if you are avoiding a decision, yeah, you're 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 shooting yourself in the foot. So when you make a decision, stick to it, go forward. But again, pace yourself. So then you also have, you have a lot of people in this spread. You also have the Knight of Oysters. So that is the Knight of Pentacles, card of Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And then you also have the Eight of Wands. All right. So you, you may have both a Gemini or, or actually it could also be your same, um, your air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, potentially. You could also have an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, coming in very quickly with multiple offers to you. That's kind of a weird way of phrasing it, but it's packed with heat. It's packed with like uh, sexuality. Your, your earth sign, Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or if it's not sexually charged heat, it could also be a, an offer of money or an offer of a job that you are very passionate about. It lights your fire. It could be a career that involves lots of, lots of creative freedom. Interesting. It's, and some of you are lacking that in your life now and you want it, or some of you are feeling create, creatively blocked, like you're, you're tapping a, an empty well. There's, okay, it could be someone who brings your creativity back, who inspires you to be more creative. It might be a Gemini, it might be a new uh, romantic partner. I have to be honest, a lot, I think a lot of my Leos have multiple offers being made. Let me ask one more question. <clears throat> All right, so these offers are any of them are any of them from the past? Because there's definitely someone you're thinking about. It could it could also be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. I don't, I don't know why that is, but. It's something like they severed it off and you, you still miss them, but their activities were kind of shady. They may have kind of done you wrong or said they were single but weren't. There's something about that coming through. And again, then there's the other person that I think you broke it off with. <clears throat> yeah, some of you are, are getting help from your mother or if you're, or, oh, okay. Some of you are becoming pregnant. All right. Uh, again, potentially with a Gemini or just a lover. If you, if, it's funny, it's, conception happens very quickly. So if this is someone new, wow, you have the ace of coins three times, Leo. Good Lord, that's, that's insane. That's incredible. Um, some of you, if you are, uh, you know, sleeping with someone who is relatively new and not looking to get pregnant, be really careful about that because this, this romantic suitor seems new, even if it's just like a one night stand. I would be very careful with that because you are uh, quite fertile. And I, and particularly in Pisces season, it's something about like the, I, you know, pardon the weirdness, but like the bodily fluids, the, the like the, the womb, the, and there, there's some metaphor there that I'm not being very eloquent with. Like you are, you are ripe. The fields are ripe. So for, you know, whether you're male or female or who you're dating or whatever, if you're not, well, for my females, obviously, but if you're, depending on you're the Leo or cross watchers, what I meant, the, yeah, be very careful of pregnancy. Yeah, and then I think there's, okay, so there's, I asked if there was any chance of reconciliation with someone from the past. If someone in your past was, was an earth sign, maybe. Uh, they're coming up with page of cups. To me, that can sometimes be an apology. Uh, the page is young. It's sometimes immature. It's um, early on in the game, but it's not brand new. It's not the ace of cups. It's the page. So it's something that maybe has grown over the years or you both have matured more. So for those looking for a potential reconciliation, maybe with someone who was, kind of uh, uncertain about where they stood with you and they went off to like explore other things. You might hear from them again, but I gotta be honest, their energy is not great. I think it's almost like they've shown you their true colors. So if you choose to let them back into your life, the, that same pattern of like hit it and quit it or you know promise you the sun and the moon and the stars and then not deliver on it, 
I gotta be honest, Leo, that's probably what is going to happen again. So word to the wise, again, be very careful who you let into your energy, be ca very careful who you're, who you're juggling, because ultimately it does feel like you guys are looking for reciprocity in a relationship. You have that card twice. You will get that with, with the right person or with the soulmate, with the best friend, with the romantic partner, but it is almost sort of a test of who you're gonna let back into your life. Essentially, have you learned the lessons of the past? Have you learned the lessons from the people who, who brought you down, who let you down, who, who kind of spilled their toxic behavior over into your life? Um, <clears throat> I, you have so many people, I don't even know if that's the same person. This could represent an entirely new person that maybe you grew up with but you didn't date and maybe romantic feelings start to happen. Again, potentially Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe a water sign, eh, maybe. But yeah, I think some of you are sleeping with a Gemini or a Taurus or maybe a Libra. And again, caution with pregnancy there. All right, Leo, let's do a couple of these cards and we will wrap it up. <clears throat> people. People is the main theme in your life right now. So many people. Who are these people? Well, that flew. A couple more for Leo. Okay. What fell on the floor? <clears throat> optimism after each rainstorm there will be clear skies i love that for you so yeah whatever where the yeah whatever this was don't get too caught up in your head about it thinking uh this will always be your life that was your soulmate and they walked away from you it's you know it's negative uh false beliefs that that really aren't doing anything for you optimism look optimistically to the future because yeah when you align with your dreams your wishes your your nine of cups good things start coming in for you Determination, don't be afraid of the rising tide, it will soon recede. And patience, the tide will come in when it is ready. And I think that's sort of what I was saying to you, it's not going to blossom overnight, like tr it will trickle in slowly but surely, and a lot of things are going to trickle in. I, again, romantic options are, are huge, uh, potentially towards the end of March, which is gonna be more like Aries season, but while you're kind of in, in that dreamy Pisces, you know, watery type energy, let your creativity blossom. Focus on your work because maybe towards the end of the month or, or, or coming in, there will be financial opportunity met with some sort of partnership, some sort of business contract or job offer, job opportunity. And it's going to feel good. It, it's going to feel like a weight has been lifted. You finally get that position where you're not being micromanaged, where you're in charge, where you can make the executive decisions. All right, guys, please like, share, subscribe down below. Let me know in the comments if anything res uh, resonates for you, and I will see you very soon for more tarot. Bye. What's up, teacups? I have a small little announcement to make, an exciting one. I am going to be participating in a tarot expo. It is going to be March 21st and March 22nd in Burbank, California, so the Los Angeles area. If you live in LA or are going to be in LA at that time, please swing by. It's going to be a fun little expo with multiple tarot readers. Uh, for those who follow YouTube and are familiar with different tarot channels, Ramblin' Mike, the granddaddy of tarot as they call him, um, he is hosting it. He is putting all this together. His people are kind of working behind the scenes to to get everybody all together in one room it's going to be lots of fun multiple readers including one of my favorite readers is going to be there uh, molly from behind the limb shout out to her can't wait to meet her in person i'm so excited uh, and i'm going to be there the intuitive teacup so if you have any interest and are going to be in the area please stop by there's going to be all the description down below some here somewhere here uh, i'll give you all the information there but yeah please stop by uh, we can read your cards we'll see what the universe has in store for you and it should be a really good time hope to see you there bye